Hello, Seeds of Strength members. I am Joanna Potts, Grants Committee Chair. It's time for us to select our award grantees for 2024. Since November, the Grants Committee has worked closely with over 30 nonprofits who provide necessary services to the Georgetown community. We are pleased to present to you 11 organizations who have been selected by the Seeds of Strength Board as finalists for our 2023-24 grant year. Nine of the finalists are previous grant recipients who have been successful partners with Seeds of Strength. We also introduced two new finalists, A Gift of Time and The Salvation Army. We have confidence that these nonprofits and their projects are worthy of our grants. I want to thank the Grants Committee for their diligence and commitment to our process. Please consider being a part of this important and rewarding activity next year by joining the Grants Committee. The next step for our grants awards is dependent upon you. The decision for which organization will become a grantee is based on the votes of our members. To help you in making your voting choices, we are providing an executive summary and a four-minute video for each finalist. This is to, intended to give you the background on these organizations, mission, and proposed projects. They will also describe how they intend to use the Seeds of Strength grant to benefit our community. In your email providing voting instructions, you will find the link to the executive summaries. The link to this video is also in that email. Following my opening statement here, you will find each organization's video presented in alphabetical order. Finally, the email with voting instructions has a link to your ballot. Once you have completed your review of the videos and executive summaries, it's time to cast your vote or votes. Check to ensure your ballot is for the correct number of votes based on your membership level. Next, use the drop-down menus and select your potential grantees. If your membership level includes multiple votes, you may vote for an organization more than one time or spread your votes out for these admirable candidates. When you finish voting, simply click Submit to Send. Voting will be from Monday, April 29th through Friday, May 3rd. We will announce the results after May 7th. Grant recipients will attend our awards event at Grace Bible Church, 2100 Shell Road on Thursday, May 16th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We will introduce each organization, present their big check, and take pictures. You will have the opportunity to meet and congratulate them. We encourage you to attend this special award event which will also include the annual meeting. It is easy to RSVP on the Seeds of Strength website under the events tab or the link in this email. Now it's up to all of us to decide which of these deserving finalists will receive our grants for the upcoming year. Please use your vote to help fulfill our mission once again. Each vote can make a difference for services to Georgetown's children, families, and students. Thank you and enjoy the video. Nelson Mandela once said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children. So thank you for the opportunity to tell you more about what Sunshine Camps does for the kids in our community. My name is Erica Blue, and this is my sixth year as the CEO of Sunshine Camps. Our mission is to provide the magic of overnight camp without the barrier of cost. A little bit about me. I have a passion inside of me that stems from the endless gratitude I have for the strangers who raised me. I grew up as a kid with an incarcerated parent in a home that did not value education and struggled to keep the lights on. You know, by the time I was 12, I felt like I was a full grown adult, responsible for my parents and for my siblings. But it was also when I was 12 that a friend invited me to an overnight summer camp that my parents couldn't afford to send me to. Her parents ended up paying my way. And that week at camp, 
changed my life forever. I went from a stressed little girl in borrowed clothes to a kid who could rappel off of a cliff. I was able to build the confidence long enough to overcome my shyness and find out that there were people out there who cared about me. That week at camp sparked a curiosity in me that still drives me to this day. Throughout my childhood, time and time again, strangers stepped up to hold my hand, pay my way, or see something in me that I could not see in myself. And that's why I know what we do at Sunshine Camps is so important because I have experienced it firsthand. Sunshine Camps was founded way back in 1928 and our flagship program, our overnight summer camp, brings over 500 kids to Zilker Park or our camp here at Lake Travis each and every summer for 10 days and nine nights. From the photos, our program looks like the quintessential summer camp experience. Sun, swimming, canoeing, ropes courses, arts and crafts, hiking, campfires, and so much more. But what we're really doing at Sunshine Camps is giving kids the confidence and the skills they need to go from camper to community leader. And just like the gift my friend's parents gave me so many years ago, our programs are also a gift. We do not charge our campers or their families to come to summer camp. Why? Because 95% of our campers qualify for free or reduced lunch. 15% of our campers have been or were in foster care. 70% of our campers come from single parent households. Our programs are a gift to the moms, dads, grandparents, and caregivers who need a gift the most and to the kids who deserve the same opportunities as their peers. But in this overnight camping world, there's really nowhere else for them to go. A grant from Seeds of Strength would allow us to pay the way for 17 kids from Georgetown to experience the magic of Sunshine Camps in 2024. A grant from Seeds of Strength would allow us to provide 17 kids the opportunity to develop independence gain self-confidence, build friendships, and so much more. Please join me in giving the gift of a life-changing experience at summer camp to 17 kids from Georgetown. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abby Foster. I'm the Director of Mission Advancement for Brookwood and Georgetown, also known as BIG. We're so excited to present this to you today. Seeds of Strength has been an incredible partner of BIG in the past, and we're excited to present this new proposal to you. Brookwood in Georgetown was founded in 2011 by who we lovingly refer to uh, as a desperate mom on a mission. Erin Kiltz founded BIG when her 18-year-old daughter, Gracie, who was disabled, um, had no options after high school. And this was completely unacceptable to Aaron. Uh, and that's when Big was born. What started as um, a, a vocational program, so to speak, in her uh, garage with eight students from Georgetown ISD who had special needs developing and making pottery and granola in her garage today has blossomed into um, Big with three campuses, two in Georgetown, one in Austin. Uh, and today we have 95 citizens and we have 15 different enterprises, everything from granola still and pottery to shower steamers and dog biscuits. We are well known for our fudge and our pie shop. Um, all of our enterprises that are uh, citizens work on, go out into the community. We are committed to developing marketable products. We have never wanted a petty sale. We know and believe that our citizens are capable of producing incredible uh, products. They're artists and we take their products to market. Everything that, that, that uh, those products um, that generate, the revenue that they generate comes back into the programs that support them. So they are earning a paycheck and they're also developing products that come back in and directly feed their vocational program. Uh, the mission of BIG is to change the way the world views adults with disabilities. We do this by creating a God-centered vocational and, and residential community where we believe 
um, adults with disabilities are lifted up to achieve their God-given potential because we instill dignity and partner with them in the community. <clears throat> For the purposes of this request, we have requested $25,000 in funding for our enterprise manager position. It will directly impact 46 Georgetown residents. We serve more than 46 across our two Georgetown campuses, but we have 46 citizens who reside in Georgetown. The enterprise manager um, is a newly appointed position and her goal, her job, is to ensure that all of our enterprises are are creating revenue. So what we have learned along the way is that some of our products maybe weren't as marketable, they weren't selling as well, and we don't want to make a product just to make a product. We want to make sure that it's marketable and it's in demand. So the enterprise manager began looking at all of the supplies that we need to make pies, how much we're paying for flour, how much we need um, to create one piece of pottery, and um, ensure that there's enough margin on each of those to really feed back into our program. So the job of the enterprise manager will really make sure that we are generating enough revenue to come back into our program. And also the more revenue we generate, the more room we have to bring on new citizens. So our goal by the um, end of this grant period, which should be January, 2025, we hope to have one more enterprise um, operating here at BIG, and we hope to have space for an additional five citizens on our campuses. We are so thankful to have partnered with you, and we look forward to hopefully partnering again. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alicia Palacios-Wiz, and I'm the Executive Director of Capital Idea, this year celebrating our 25th anniversary. Capital Idea's mission is to lift working adults out of poverty and into living wage careers through education and career advancement. We help low-income, non-traditional adult students succeed by covering the costs of tuition, fees, and books, and providing support with childcare, transportation, and emergency needs. Our students, most of whom attend Austin Community College, work hard every day to build their knowledge and skills at a local community college. Reducing anxieties about the cost of education and with the right supports for success, Capital Ideas supported students can better focus on academic progress, achievement, and completion. Capital Ideas Career Expressway for Georgetown will serve 25 current Georgetown residents working on an associate's degree. 80% are preparing for healthcare careers and 20% are working towards careers in information technology. With an average age of 31, many of our Georgetown students are parents, and almost a third are single parents. Additionally, 84% of our Georgetown students are people of color, and like our overall population, the majority are women. By earning the education and skills needed to secure a living wage career, participants completing the Career Expressway for Georgetown can better support themselves and their families in so many ways, such as housing, transportation, childcare, food, and medical services. Last year, Capital Ideas celebrated four Georgetown students who graduated and started their new careers. They are now making an average starting wage of $32 an hour, or $66,000 a year. If funded, the Seeds of Strength Award will be used to assist our Georgetown students with the cost of tuition, books, fees, and essential wraparound services like career navigation, childcare, mental health services, and emergency assistance. We expect that over one grant year, at least 80% of our Georgetown students will continue with their education and career goals, advancing to the next stages of their training, while at least two Georgetown students will graduate and secure life and family changing employment during this time frame. Together, we can help bridge the gap between the need for a diverse talent pool of employees for local businesses and the critical need for our Georgetown residents to change the financial futures of themselves and their families. Now more than ever, our students need our support, patience, and persistence as we commit to helping them achieve their dream careers. Thank you for your consideration of our grant proposal.
Hello, Seeds of Strength members. I am Wendy McRae, Community Engagement Coordinator with CASA, the Court Appointed Special Advocates of Williamson County, and want to thank you for your support. You are making a huge difference in the lives of our most vulnerable citizens, children who have experienced abuse and neglect. CASA of Williamson County exists to empower community volunteers to advocate for children who have experienced abuse and neglect, find safe, loving, and permanent homes. When a child enters the foster care system because his or her home is no longer safe, a judge may appoint us to help them and we use volunteers called Court Appointed Special Advocates or CASAs to help fulfill that role. CASA volunteers are screened, highly trained and monitored by wonderful staff to represent and advocate for a child's best interest in the child protective system. CASA volunteers are each assigned to help one child or set of siblings at a time so they can focus on giving them individualized advocacy and attention they desperately need and deserve. I'm sure all of you know that foster care isn't fair. Child welfare isn't fair. These children are removed from their homes, families, friends, schools, everything that is familiar. They are placed in new homes with new families and new schools. It is difficult and scary. They have many new people coming in and out of their lives and there is so much unknown. We are honored to be able to serve these children by providing them with a CASA, a person that stands by that child through those difficult times. The CASA knows not only that child, but their family, teachers, doctors, lawyers, caseworkers, all the people involved. The CASA makes sure that the child remains safe, that their medical and educational needs are met, and that they don't fall through any cracks while all along working towards a loving, safe, and permanent home. We are requesting funding to help recruit and train more volunteers, getting us closer to serving 100% of the children in need. Our goal is to identify 65 prospective community volunteers with the aim that 55 of these will successfully complete CASA training, which will assist in serving the estimated 60 Georgetown children. Seeds of Strength support would be used for salary and benefits for the critical position of Director of Recruitment and Education, whose responsibility is not only to recruit our volunteers, but to ensure they successfully complete their required application, interview, background checks, guide them through more than 30 hours of initial training, swearing in at court, 12 hours of annual continued education, and ensure that they trans transition smoothly from training to taking their first case. Our current Director of Recruitment and Education has worked in the field of child welfare for over 12 years. Last year, we served 333 children with 141 volunteers. That was a 20% increase over the number of children served the previous year. That's a huge jump for our small organization. Of the cases that closed, 33% of the children were reunified with their parents, 36% were adopted by relatives, and 24% were adopted by non-relatives. We could not serve in this capacity without the support of our community, especially you all from Seeds of Strength. We want to again thank you for your support. Since our beginning in 2009, we have been and continue to be passionate about empowering these volunteers to serve our most vulnerable population. These children have an opportunity for such a bright future. Thank you for helping us nurture these seeds and helping to them to grow tall and strong. Hello Seeds of Strength, my name is Lisa Hill and I'm the Executive Director of Faith in Action Georgetown. Faith in Action began over 23 years ago when local churches came together and recognized a need in Georgetown to provide transportation for older adults who cannot drive. Our mission statement says that we exist to help seniors maintain their independence and their quality of life. So how do we do that? Well, we do indeed provide that transportation for them through our one-on-one -on -one volunteer program and through our van program. That's where I'm coming to you today is from our van. And our van provides uh, access to grocery stores five times a week and then a social ride once a week that just gives our clients that chance to interact with each other. We expect this year through our Seeds of Strength program, which is called Senior Connect, we do expect to serve 
over 800 Georgetown residents. 50% of the rides that we provide will be for medical, while 20% will be to grocery stores or food pantries. And then the remainder of those rides go to just daily living, such as going to the bank or the library, volunteering, getting your hair done, taking your dog to the vet, all the things that we take for granted, they need help with that. So we're happy to go ahead and provide that for them. In 2023, Faith in Action provided over 10,000 rides, and we expect to exceed that in 2024. In fact, we are on point to be closer to about 12,000 rides this year. And to provide all those rides takes a lot of people, a lot of time, and a little bit of funding. And that's where Seeds of Strength comes in and helps us. So the Seeds of Strength funds will make such a huge difference, and they will be used for staff salaries, most of which are our programming staff, as well as uh, training events that give us some leadership training, some uh, job specific training, and then also provide for staff uh, development and team building. The third thing is our insurance. It, it takes money to insure this lovely van and our minivan, as well as our office space. So Seeds of Strength funding will help uh, take care of a little bit of our insurance as well. So what's the impact? The impact is substantial of Seeds of Strength funds. They will help our clients be able to stay connected to healthcare, have access to healthy foods, and be connected to their community. So they don't have the stress of having to find dependable transportation. They don't have to feel like a burden to their family and friends. They, uh, their self-esteem is increased because they're able to take care of their own needs and they're equipped to live in the home of their choice as they age in place. Our clients consistently tell us that they do not know what they would do without Faith in Action. We get that from both clients and the client's families. On our annual client survey, 85% said they've made new friends because of Faith in Action services. 100% say that their independence is increased because of Faith in Action. And 95% say they're able to continue to living where they want to live. Uh, simply because of Faith in Action services. So, why would you want to fund Faith in Action? Because it makes such a difference to the clients we serve. At Faith in Action, we are about so much more than a ride. We are about the relationship. And thank you, Seeds of Strength, for considering Faith in Action for your funding in this coming uh, grant. Hi, my name is Kat Phelps, and I'm the Executive Director of the Georgetown Family YMCA. Together, we have been making summers awesome at YMCA Camp Brightwell for the last four years. We're excited because camp is actually old enough to get to actually come to camp this year. So this is a big deal for us. The mission of the YMCA is to put Christian principles into practice through programs that build healthy spirit, mind, and body for all. And that last part is really, really important to us, all. Here at the Y, we believe, regardless of your financial stability or what's happening in your life, you have a place at the Y. This grant opportunity that we hope to partner with Seeds of Strength on will provide 75 children the gift and experience of a week at camp. Camp is magical, friendships are formed, adventures are made, and fears are conquered all through the spirit of play, fellowship, and YMCA core values. The ripple effect is even more massive when you think about parents and caregivers who are struggling to make ends meet, buying groceries, paying the bills, being given the relief of knowing that their child is experiencing a high quality YMCA summer camp while they're able to work and help make those needs happen. We wanna be a supporter of families, especially hardworking families, and we, with your help, will be able to do that. This grant has two folds. One is to serve our group of kiddos at Camp Brightwell. The other is to embrace our friends who have not got to experience the magic of camp in Southeast Georgetown. Working together with our friends at the Carver Center for Families, we hope to bus 20 campers with your funds to Camp Brightwell to give them the week of camp. I'm excited that our Why on the Fly Camp Brightwell will also include our little mini bus, picking up friends every morning and bringing them to camp. We hope you come experience the magic of camp. I hope that you vote for us and I appreciate the opportunity to tell you a little bit more about the YMCA and the magic that happens at summer camp. Thank you. Hi, Seeds of Strength. My name is Bridget Cooley, and I'm the Georgetown Project's Nest Empowerment Center Coordinator. 
Hi, I'm Vanessa Calabaza and I'm the Youth Employment Program Coordinator. And together we are the dream <laughs> team here at the Georgetown Project. Our nonprofit organization has been operating for 27 years in our community. And we're working toward a vision of a community where no child is hungry, hurt, alone, or rejected, and where children and youth believe they are loved, respected, and treated with dignity. Seeds of Strength has been an incredible, generous partner over the years, helping us get closer and closer to achieving our mission, which is to identify the needs and develop resources, relationships, and services so that our youth become caring, capable, and resilient young adults. At the Nest Empowerment Center, we work with at-risk GISD high school students to first assess and then address their needs. The profile of a student who might come through our doors is a kiddo who has one parent at home and has really had to grow up a little too fast, has to go get all of their groceries by themselves, has to pay all of the bills, cook all their meals. Here, we're able to provide them access to basic needs like the food pantry that they can take home food from, hot meals every single night, a hygiene closet, and even more types of uh, assistance, like perhaps purchasing them brand new bras for the school year. As Bridget mentioned, we are assessing what the student needs. Part of that need is summer youth employment. We provide not just how to apply for a position, how to talk to your supervisor, what to wear, which is a simple basic that most people would understand, but a lot of our children don't know. With the students of the Georgetown community, we're able to place 20 interns, give them a paid, inter, uh, paid position and work with them. Their mentors, their site supervisors know that they are to guide them throughout the SIM process. We are a team, we collaborate with one another, and we ensure that these kids are powered that they are confident and they are resilient. So when they leave this entire program, they are ready to go. One thing that we did notice last year is a lot of the site supervisors mentioned that we needed to work with some of the additional students who may have a learning curve, may need that extra reassurance of how to talk to a site supervisor. What kind of tone do we need to use? What acronyms actually mean? Simple things like that that we take for granted as adults is something that is precious for a student to learn these days. And it's not just them learning, it's also the family. So with your encouragement, we are able to break generational cycles. This $25,000 request helps us to make dreams come true while preparing 150 Georgetown youth for productive futures. The request is going to fund portions of the Nest Empowerment Center coordinator position and will help to extend our youth employment coordinator position to a year-round one. It used to just be in the summers. Your years of generosity and contributions in supporting us and keeping what Bridget calls the dream team alive goes a long way. My name is Becky Poltermay. I'm the Executive Director for A Gift of Time located here in Georgetown. Our organization was founded in 2017 in response to a growing need in our community. Our mission is to make a positive impact on people who are living with mild to moderate dementia, their family caregivers, and the community at large. We've been very busy since I joined A Gift of Time in 2022. Since then, we've been implementing programming in response to the growing community of people who are living with dementia and the families who are caring for them in the home. It's not uncommon for caregivers of loved ones with dementia to experience immense stress and strain, which can unfortunately lead to health complications or a shortened lifespan. The role of caregiving can be emotionally, physically, and mentally taxing, often without much respite. Caregivers may neglect their own health needs while prioritizing the needs of their loved ones. Caregiving for someone with dementia can be both rewarding and emotionally exhausting and physically demanding. Chronic stress and burnout can lead to health problems such as cardiovascular issues, weakened immune system, and mental health disorders. Many caregivers may not have access to adequate support networks or to resources to help them cope with the challenges of caregiving. Without this support, they may feel overwhelmed and isolated, which can exacerbate their own stress levels. 
Caregivers often prioritize the needs of their loved ones over their own health. This neglect can lead to the development or worsening of their own health conditions, ultimately shortening their lifespan. Watching a loved one decline to dementia can be a deeply painful and traumatic experience. Caregivers may experience anticipatory grief as they witness the gradual loss of their loved one's cognitive abilities, which can take a toll on their own mental health. The good news is that their self there is help in the form of respite programming. Respite programs for dementia caregivers offer a wide range of benefits, both for the caregivers themselves and for the individuals with dementia. It is an opportunity for a family care partner to take some much needed time for themselves to run errands, make doctor's appointments, spend time with friends, or simply spend some time alone to recharge. In the meantime, their loved ones are enjoying the company of new friends, engaging in activities, musical programs, and having a nice lunch with others. In response to an urgent need, A Gift of Time opened a respite program in June of 2023, which quickly filled up with 10 regular participants. By the fall of last year, we had over 15 on our waiting list. We are excited to announce that we're opening a second respite on Mondays from 10 to 1 at the Carver Center for Families. In partnership with Georgetown Health Foundation and Meals on Wheels, the new program will open on Monday, May the 13th. Dementia Re Respite Care programs offer a wide range of benefits that enhance the quality of life for both the individuals with dementia and their caregivers. By providing specialized care, social interaction, and support, these programs play a crucial role in improving outcomes and promoting the well-being for all who are involved. In addition to respite, A Gift of Time provides dementia education and support groups in English and in Spanish. We have events for people to spend time together outside of the normal caregiver or care receiver routine with our private family field trips and Camille's Memory Cafe, which is held at the library. If funded, the Seas of Strength grant will help us to offset the costs of staff salaries and the other operational expenses such as activities, supplies, and food. Thank you very much for your consideration and the opportunity to share our valued mission with you. Hi, my name is Dory Yader and I'm the Director of Development for Opportunities for Williamson and Vernon Counties. We are your Community Action Agency. Currently, we have three major programs, Mills on Wheels, Head Start, and Community Services. We are requesting $20,000 for the Georgetown Mills on Wheels program. OWBC was established in 1965 and our mission is to empower children, family, and seniors to achieve and maintain independence by partnering with area organizations to provide education, nutrition, and community support. I'd like to turn it over to Carrie Berry, our Director of Senior Nutrition, to talk to you a little bit more about why Mills on Wheels is so important. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Carrie Berry, the Program Director of Senior Nutrition here at OWBC. Uh, it is my privilege to be able to work with the Meals on Wheels program and help direct its progress. Currently, we have about 1,300 clients. 384 of those are here in Georgetown, which is about 30% of our population. 93% of our clients feel less isolated and more secure in their homes. The whole benefit of our home delivery program is that we allow seniors to age in place. That means they get to stay in their home. They get to stay in their natural environment that makes them feel good. We would be using all funds directed from Seeds of Strength toward uh, encouraging new clients to enroll and expanding our program with a no wait list. We currently have a no wait list, which is unusual for most Meals on Wheels. So thank you so much for your support and look forward to working with you in the future. Hello, my name is Fabiana Pires. I am the Corporate Relations Manager here at the Salvation Army Austin. It is my pleasure to share with you a little bit of our history and work. The Salvation Army has, uh, was founded in 1865 in London. We are in over 130 countries around the world today. Each unity of the Salvation Army is locally funded and operated. Uh, that also means that all the services and programs that we offer, they are crafted according to the community's main needs. We have been in Texas since 1889, providing different types of social services, and today we are the largest 
a nonprofit provider of family shelter in all Central Texas area. Our mission statement is, inspired by our Christian mission, we offer the support and resources to lift up our neighbors in crisis. We serve over 10,000 individuals every year with shelter, addiction rehabilitation, meals, clothing, holiday support, and other direct services. We established our Williamson County Service Center in 2014 in the city of Georgetown. Uh, the main focus of the Wilco Service Center is homelessness prevention. So while in Travis County, we are addressing the issue of homelessness by providing shelter, in Wilco, we are stopping the cycle from happening. How does that work? A family who is struggling to pay their rent or their utility bills, they can reach out to the Salvation Army and we partner with different organizations and we also have our own budget for direct assistance. And with those resources, we are able to provide financial assistance to our clients in need. The Wilco Service Center has also a small pantry. All you have to do is get in there and we will provide you with a few bags of food and supplies for the next days. We have programs for the youth, uh, such as musical programs, summer camp, and much more. To give you an idea of the impact of our uh, Wilco Service Center, last year only we were able to serve over 400 people with our programs, our financial assistance, our food pantry, etc. Our goal with this grant is to use all the funding for to help our clients with direct assistance. We aim to, to serve 350 individuals in the Williamson County area and at least 130 individuals in Georgetown. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Danielle Hauck and I am the Interim Director and the Educational Program Coordinator at the Williamson Museum. And my name is Ben Geiger. I am the Visitor Experience Coordinator at the Williamson Museum. Welcome! We were established in 1997 as a 501c3. And in December of 2003, we opened our doors to the public. So that means this year, we're actually celebrating our 20th anniversary of being open to the public. Our mission at the Williamson Museum is to promote the culture and heritage of Williamson County through education, preservation, acquisition, and exhibition. Our vision is to be a meaningful presence in every area of Williamson County and a destination for locals and visitors to learn about the rich culture and heritage of the area. The museum currently sees 15,000 visitors a year through our doors and at our community programs and serves another 15,000 students a year through our field trip and educational trunk programs. With a collection of almost 15,000 objects and limited space for both storage and exhibit display, museum staff has pinpointed the need to make the area's vast culture and heritage more accessible to the people we see each year. Bound by our physical constraints, our solution is the time traveler. Imagine stepping into the Williamson Museum and being able to time travel to any point in our county's history. That's what you'd be able to do with this funding from Seeds of Strength. We'd want to create a kiosk in our Discovery Map Room, where we're standing, for any visitor to see themselves reflected in Williamson County history. We could show artifacts, our photographs. Maybe you wanna hear a letter written with a voiceover, or you wanna see one of our living history characters portray an actual person's first person interpretation of history you'd be able to discover this and more all throughout our time-traveling kiosk. Funding from Seeds of Strength will go towards five different things in the museum. $8,000 will go towards any equipment needed for the project, including $5,000 for a double-sided standing kiosk, $2,000 for various sound equipment, and $1,000 for cameras for filming living history throughout Williamson County. In addition, $3,000 will go towards maintenance in the building to convert electricity into the room for our kiosk. $1,500 will go toward the construction of text panels of our accompanying historic sites. 
with an additional $1,500 for web hosting and accessible software for everyone to experience local history. Finally, $1,000 will go towards professional services, including the research, the building of the site, and voiceover work for artifacts, totaling in $15,000. So we've told you about the museum, and we've told you about our project, The Time Traveler. Well, what does a real-life example look like? We've already been in talks with Georgetown Parks and Recreation. We've been doing our cemetery tours at the International Order of the Odd Fellows for over 15 years. We have so many stories and so many talented volunteers that really help make Williamson County and Georgetown history come to life. We'd love to be able to film those and then not only have a sign at the Grays, but at our kiosk, anyone could come experience the 15 years of hard work that we've done with our cemetery tour program in our time traveling kiosk. The Williamson Museum would not exist without the support of many different people in our community from our volunteers to people who fund grants like this. We're thankful and we're excited to continue to share the stories of Williamson County. Please help us continue to have over 30,000 people discover the stories of Williamson County. Thank you.